Hello. Hi. So, another concave lens question. And here's our focal point. Here's twice the focal point. This time we're going to look at the situation where we're, our image is between the focal point and twice the focal point. So, here. It could be here, 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 here. Just somewhere between the focal point and twice the focal point. Mm -hmm. So, to figure out where yeah. the reflected image will show up, mm -hmm. first thing we have to do is draw a ray leaving the top of the image. Use an arrow to indicate the direction. Mm -hmm. And it's going to reflect, again, it's going to reflect through <coughs> focal point. How do you keep the camera still? <laughs> I can't. Lots of practice. Uh, it's not perfectly still. That's okay. And remember, uh, you've got to use arrows to indicate the direction that it's going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it a little longer. So, the second ray that we draw leaves the top of the image and intersects the focal point. I'm here, I'm just getting tired. <laughs> just another minute or two. Uh, so, it leaves the top of the image, intersects the focal point, and any time a ray hits the lens, it's going to reflect parallel to the principal axis. Mm. Okay, so wherever the two rays intersect is where the top of the image is going to be in the reflection. So this is where the top of the image is going to be. Top of the image. And there's the rest of the image. So it started here. We got a ray left the top. Parallel to the principal axis, struck the lens, and reflected through the focus. Our second line went from the top of the image through the focus and reflected off the lens parallel to the principal axis. And where they intersect is where the top of your original image will be. So if we do a spot check on our reflected image, S, the size, it's larger than it started, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So it's larger. The position, is it in front or behind the lens? Hmm, in front or behind the lens? Yeah, uh, um. in front, right? This is in front, this is behind. The orientation, is it upright, meaning... Upside down. Yeah, it's upright would be in the same position that it started, pointing up, but it's pointing down now. So, the fancy word for upside down is inverted. So oh. Its orientation is inverted. And it's tight. If it's behind the lens, it's virtual. When it's in front of the lens, it's real. Yeah. I wish I could get a camera stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you can hit the stop.